So did you guys know that you can load film in a digital camera? Let me explain. So I was writing this blog post lately about AI and what I think about 2023. And I uh, wrote about some image uh, AI stuff. And of course I wrote about ChatGPT, right? So I thought it's gonna be fun if I ask some analog question about uh, wet plates and stuff like that. And also about analog uh, photography, like film photography. And at some point, uh, ChatGPT suggested uh, lenses for analog photography for me, for portraits for analog photography. So ChatGPT also suggested a Sony e mod lens. Then I asked ChatGPT what cameras he would uh, suggest for analog photography and portraits. And there was like the Canon EOS 3 and a Nikon camera and stuff like that. And then I was like, so on what of these cameras does the Sony e mod lens fit? And it said on oh, none of them. I was like, okay, so what camera would you use with a Sony e mod lens in an analog film? And it said, the Sony A7. So I was confused and I like, okay, how do you load film on the Sony A7? Look at that. And then, okay, so you can load film on the, in the Sony A7, but wouldn't the in-body image stabilization not scratch the film? And the sensor cleaning, would that scratch the film? And how to rewind a film in the Sony A7? How do you push a film in the Sony A7? So there are a lot of questions. <laughs> Look at my blog, you get a lot of answers. And that is how you uh, expose analog film in a Sony A7. 